Okay, here's a system of equation problem in three variables. Um, the way you solve these, um, basically, you want to take two equations. doesn't matter which two, but um, you need a pattern. Um, you want to take the first one and the second one, add them together so that you eliminate a variable. Then you have a new equation. Then I'm going to take the second one and the third one, add, in the add those equations together. Then you have a new equation. You eliminate the same variable. Then you have two equations, two variables, and then you solve with those. Um, let's explain. The first one, what I would do here, um, let's go ahead and take this first equation because I want to add these two. Watch what I'm going to do. I'm going to multiply this first equation by negative 1. So when I add my x variables, they'll cancel. So I put parentheses here, multiply by negative 1 over here, distribute. So now you're going to have negative x minus y plus 2z equals negative 5. Okay. Next, I'm just going to bring this over. x plus 2y. Didn't change anything at all. Just bring it over just for neatness. And next, you're going to add these two together. You're going to have your x variables cancel. Add negative y and 2y, which gives you y plus, now I get 3z equals, add those, I get 3. Okay? That's an equation in two variables. I want to do the same thing here, but I want to get rid of the x. Let's multiply. It doesn't matter which one. Since that's a x and this is 2x, I'm going to multiply this one by negative 2 because I want to cancel the x variables here. All right, so I'm going to have, I'm going to rewrite it down here. Negative 2x, I'm just distributing up here, minus 4y, minus 2z, equals negative 16. Okay, now I can add these two equations together here, this one, and this one. I just draw a little arrow so we can see which ones. And I'm going to have another new equation. I'm going to write it over here when I get done. They cancel. I'm going to add 3y and negative 4y, which is negative y. Here I'm going to add these. I get negative 3z. Add 1 and negative 16, which is negative 15 here. Okay? Next. Now you got two equations, two um, variables. It's easy to solve this. You can solve this by elimination. The probably the easiest way to do this is solve by elimination. Because what's going to happen here, um, I'll show you in a minute. But um, when I add these two equations now, something is going to happen. Now I'm going to add these two equations. And notice what happens. If I add negative y and y, you get 0. If you add 3z and negative 3z, you get 0. I'm going to add 3 and negative 15, you get negative 12. So you're going to have 0 equals negative 12. Well, this is a unique situation. Basically, if you solve um, your systems of equations and you come up with 0 for an answer, or excuse me, if you come up with some number equal to a different number, this is going to be no solution because this is never possible. So this particular equation has no solution at all. It's impossible. These planes, because when you graph each one of these, these are three different planes. They don't intersect. That simply means these, these planes are either parallel or another situation. Um, later, if we were to do a different problem and we come up with one variable here, like y equals some number, then I would take that particular solution, plug it back in, and try to solve for the other variable. And that's all we do. So the, the solution is no solution.